Old laptop screens can be useful for DIY projects. The backlight of the screen is built that way that it's one big even light source. I've been meaning to use one of these screens and make a video light for my YouTube videos or a work light for computer repair jobs. Inspired by a recent DIY perks video, I'll finally take this out of my to-do list. Be sure to check out DIY perks video. Their mat shows how to remove the LCD layer and connect the power and signal wires in order to turn on the backlight. My screen uses 5 volts for powering the backlight, but otherwise the process is the same. You can find correct voltage in the datasheet of your screen. In my opinion, the best reason why I chose this screen which uses 5 volts is that these can be powered by USB power banks. If one wants to make thinner light panel, there are power banks that use these really thin battery cells instead of 18650 batteries that I'm going to use. And for converting the voltage, I'll be using this circuit board from old power bank. Connections couldn't be easier. I just need to connect battery to corresponding pads on the PCB. Then take 5 volts from one of these USB ports. The IC on the board handles charging the battery and boosting the voltage to 5 volts. Now I have soldered wires between the battery and the PCB and I've connected USB cable from the power bank through a switch to a PCB on the screen. And the light works as planned. For testing purposes, I'll be using double-sided tape to connect these loose parts to the back of the screen. For final build, I will use some kind of other more permanent solution for hooking up everything. Once everything has been connected, it's time to test this in simulated video scene. You might think will this replace a softbox which has CFL bulbs that consume hundreds of watts. Well, of course not, this is just a couple watt LED. Even if I pump up the ISO a little bit, the light just isn't powerful enough, even when moved really close to the subject. I would have to sacrifice the noise performance in order to use this light with this camera. But that's not what I want to make out of this. So let's try how well this works as feel like supporting the already existing softbox I have. And in my opinion, this works actually really well for filling the shadows. This is just first prototype and I will eventually build some kind of case for this. But for now, I'll have to say this was a success.